Hi everyone, my name is Darren Darling from The DPF Doctor. I'm here today to take a video to show you how to fill up the additive pouch on Peugeot Citroen vehicles. We're going to be doing this using the JLM DPF refill fluid and also the JLM DPF refill filling kit. So we'll show you how to set up the fill kit and how to use this uh, in a moment but what I'd like to do before we start is to give you um, a little bit of um, advice on some do's and don'ts. Something that we unfortunately see is people occasionally mixing up the DPF refill fluid which is designed to fill up the Eloy's tank. Um, some people mix it up with AdBlue. AdBlue is completely different, uh, totally separate system. This gets di injected directly into your exhaust where the DPF fluid via the bag gets injected into your fuel tank. So you do not want AdBlue making its way into the fuel tank. So there's a little bit of a word of caution for you. Do not mix up the two fluids. They are not the same. And add blue in your fuel system would be catastrophic. So we'll put that away. Um, we have seen this on a number of occasions, so please do not mix them up. So back to the JLM DPF refill. So it comes in a box of four. So all I've done up to now is unbox boxed the fluid and the DPF refill kit. So in the DPF refill kit, let's take it out the bag. We have the pipe. We have the attachment to go on to the DPF refill bottle. We have a small plastic pipe and we have a choice of three attachments. So we hold these up here. Now, what I suggest before you start, the attachments are, they are different depending on what you are filling up. So in our own workshop, we actually have two different filling kits set up depending on whether we are filling up a bag or we are filling up a tank. In this instance, we are going to be filling up the refill bag. So one important thing before we start is to check the bag for any leaks. On this one, the bag is empty, but it is in perfect condition. So it is quite common for the bags to split, so it must have a visual inspection before you start. This bag is okay, so we are good to continue. So before we set up the refill kit and decide which attachment we need, very simple. You can see that this has a female attachment, so we're looking for one of the male ends. And this one fits, this one does not fit. So this one um, is, is for use when we're filling up a tank. So what we'll do is we'll put these and the small pipe back into the bag because for this particular one we do not need them. So we'll put them off to one side and all we're left with now is the cap, the pipe and the end that is the correct one for the bag. So nice and simple. So what we'll do now on these you may need to, you, you know, depending on the, the temperature in your workshop um, we can put that on, but it may be necessary to warm up the end slightly with a lighter. And then as you can see, it pushes on very, very easily. So we'll do the same with this end. Just a quick warm up. And 
And this way, now that that's on, and you give it a few seconds to cool down, it's got a real good hold on there, so you're not going to leak any. So now, this is your filling kit ready to attach to the bottle and also to the additive bag, to the pouch. So, we'll take one of our bottles. Now, the fill level on this pouch is around two liters. So, what we're gonna do is attach up the first one and we're gonna, we're gonna fill it till, you know, the, there's two liters in there. Um, but we have a nice visual with filling up a bag. Um, so it, it's nice and easy to see when it's full, you know. So obviously what we've done up to now is we've removed this from the vehicle. The tank um, that, that holds this bag is always located next to your fuel tank. So it should only be carried out by professional people. You should always have the necessary PPE on while you're doing the job. So drop the tank out of the vehicle and remove the pouch from the tank. So that's where we're at now, and we'll show you how to fill it up. So we very simply screw this onto the bottle. And then nice and easy, this attachment clicks in and you hear it click and it's always good practice to double check that it's nice and tightly home because this avoids any spillages and making a mess so now we've done this you can see the fluid starting to run down the pipe and into the bag So give it a little squeeze and now it will gravity feed into the bag. If you want to speed up the process, that's starting to go in there now. You could put the bag to a lower level. So we have a box under here and then now it's, it's flown in there nicely. So we'll put this into the tank and then we shall come back shortly um, when the, the bag is full and then we'll show you how to do the resets. After the process is complete, obviously you need to refit it to the vehicle, but you do need to program the new additive level into the vehicle. So again, this is a professional only procedure. The, the workshop carrying out should have the correct diagnostic equipment to go in and reset the additive level. It will ask you how much additive you've put in. In this case, it will be two liters. So there we go, so that's filling up nicely. We'll come back shortly once it's filled. Okay, we've now managed to put two litres into there. So this does take some time. You need to coax the bottle, give it a little squeeze now and again, just to help it gravity feed into the bag. So it, it generally it may take you, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how hard you squeeze the bottle. But it is, you know, normally we take around 20 minutes um, and, and allow it to gravity feed into the bag so now we have a nice full Eloise pouch so all we're left to do there now is disconnect this here and then refit it to the its case and install it in the vehicle again it is next to the fuel tank once you have that bag in there then you must go in with the diagnostics tool and reset the adaptations, which we're going to show you how to do once we've installed this back in the vehicle. So we'll be back soon to show you how to do that procedure. Okay, now that we've refitted the tank, um, that is now full of additive. So we now need to reset the adaptations um, in the ECU. On this vehicle, this is a 2016 model. It is controlled by the injection ECU. So that's where we're going into. On earlier models, in the list of ECUs, it will list a separate additive control module. But on later models, we go into injection. Just 
special function pack repair replacement parts replacement of the additive reservoir or additive pouch and then follow the on-screen instructions so it says ignition off ignition on and then as you can see learning is complete so then we will escape particle filter after sales operation program of quantity of in injected into DPF so in here it's asking for mileage traveled since the vehicle's last additive fill obviously we've just filled it so that mileage will be zero okay programming performed okay and there we go job done folks